Hey friends and soon to be friends, it's Jesslyn and today I'm back with another body doubling video, one I haven't done before, cleaning the bathroom. So right away, I'll answer the two obvious questions. One, what is body doubling? Well, body doubling is just when you work while someone else works and you both are more likely to get your stuff done and stay focused on your activity if you have someone else doing it with you. So sometimes you can't have a friend come and sit and do work at the same time as you or help you with whatever you're doing, but you always have me, I'm your friend. And so I'm doing this knowing that you're going to be able to use it and that's what gets me to get it done. And then here I am doing it. You can play it along while you do whatever you need to do, whether it's clean the bathroom or do some work or walk the dog, whatever. Take me along and we'll do it together. All right, second question. Why am I wearing a hat indoors? It's comfortable, makes me feel good. <laughs> Let's not worry about it. <laughs> I don't know, are you, are you like that? Are you like a hat indoors feeling kind of like long sleeves, big hat, comfy? That's where I'm at. It's like a sensory thing, right? Uh, but I guess that some people think that it's like rude to wear your hat indoors, even this kind of like musta, uh, slouchy beanie or whatever. I don't know, what do you call them? Let me know. <laughs> All right, so it's the bathroom today. And the entire day has been rather difficult. And it's kind of the end of the day. And this is the last thing I really want to be doing. So the only way it's getting done is by you being here helping me and I appreciate that. Plus who wants to clean the bathroom, right? But my warning there, the disclaimer that was coming is that my kids are really rowdy right now. So if you hear screaming in the background, Please just ignore it. We'll try to put beautiful music, soothing stuff over it, but you know, such is life. So um, here we go. Gather your things for whatever activity you need. Pause me if you need to. That's my pause screen. <laughs> and uh, take me wherever you need to go to get your stuff done. Let's do this. All right. Uh, and. If you haven't watched my body doubling before, you may not realize I'm going to pop in and out of frame. You may not see me here the entire time, um, but I try to kind of keep a commentary going, kind of encourage us along. So don't worry if I disappear for a minute. <laughs> That's just part of cleaning. You got to go where you got to go. You are currently standing in our bathtub, which is pretty clean already, um, but there's like some soap and dirt from the kids having just had a bath here. Probably Matt would not love me um, pouring water in the bathtub that has the camera in it. <laughs> but here we go. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. Oof. I gathered all my tools ahead of time. They're sitting in the hallway so I can just grab what I need and they're not in my way. Might be a strategy for you. I know that when I go off to find things that I need, I often, I'm like, oh, I just need another uh, towel or something. And then I find myself in another room completely doing some other activity, thanks to my ADHD. And then like, I realize at some point, oh, wasn't I cleaning the bathroom? Uh, how did I end up in here working on the computer? Working with or without quotation marks. Working. Depending on the day. Because sometimes I'm actually working. But a lot of times I just sort of end up sitting on the couch looking at my phone thinking I didn't have anything I have to be doing right now. What I needed here was like a basket for dirty laundry. Use towels. A 
Okay. This was not here a few minutes ago. I have no idea what's going on. I guess we changed the light bulb. <laughs> oh, okay. I like to work from one side to the other, but you see my ADHD acting up here telling me to just like randomly grab stuff. So, I have to kind of work with it and fight it, you know? Both. Hi, doggy. Do you want to be in the video? Here's doggy. He got a shave this weekend. I don't, can you, you can't even see him, can you? Aw. Come here, doggy. Do you want to be in the video? Everybody, put the doggy here. This is the same dog we've always had. This was no fur. He was going to have a poodle today. God, you're heavier than you look. What? This is not helping me clean. This is not helping me clean. I see you have a toy. Okay, bathtub is done. Ooh, not quite. Where'd that towel go? I think all the places to clean in the house. <laughs> I started to say the bathroom is my least favorite, and then I realized I really probably, before I make such a bold statement, need to think <laughs> what really might be my <laughs> least favorite. favorite changing bedding might be my least favorite because it's just so hard in the situation we've got here I don't know. what's your least favorite or you know what let's let's sorry there let's put a positive spin on it right what's your favorite thing to clean in the house do you have something that you're like I don't mind doing that my sister-in-law she loves to vacuum so she's like, yeah, I'll, yeah, somebody else come do my dishes and I'll go vacuum your house. Okay. Uh, let's see, if I had a favorite, hmm, a favorite cleaning thing. If it didn't happen so often, I'd probably say laundry isn't that bad. Because it always stacks up and it just seems like it never ends, that's not it. Uh, maybe I just don't like cleaning that much. I guess I don't mind tidying, like just straightening up things, putting things back where they go, if they've got a place to go. And bathrooms aren't too bad to me, except that I don't like to do the toilet. Oh, I love to do mirrors. I love to do mirrors. I don't know why. I'm excited. I get to do that here in a minute. Love to do mirrors. Cleaning with my hair down <laughs> may not have been the smartest move. I might be actually making more of a mess when I'm cleaning. <laughs> Just because I have like hairs escaping. If you have long hair or you live with somebody with long hair, you probably know what I'm talking about. There's just a certain amount of like, uh, escapees that happen and make a mess everywhere. If 
this is the most ridiculous way you've ever seen someone clean a toilet? You're welcome. <laughs> um, you know, my thing here, we don't, we don't judge, right? Whatever you got to do to get it done. You know, you got to use nuclear strength, one use wipes or whatever, uh, you know, do it. If you've got to, if, if your thing is like reusable, essential oil laden, uh, hemp wipes. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that could make that even more like, com like that once you've reused them seven million times they're compostable i don't know <laughs> you know that's fine too i'm down that's great do what you got to do use what you've got use what you've got on hand now right use what you've got don't tell yourself you have to wait and get something else like if all you've got is dawn dish soap you know <laughs> I have definitely cleaned like the entire house with Dawn dish soap before. Ain't, ain't no shame in getting the job done with what you've got available to you, okay? Do I do the inside now and then come back to the outside? Oh, I don't know. Uh, probably. Whatever place you are, whatever stage of cleaning you are, it's totally fine. Maybe you're not cleaning. Maybe maybe you're watching this just trying to get yourself to do something. And you know what? That's a stage two. That's a preparatory stage. You're getting there. Uh, don't, don't be upset at yourself if you're not where somebody else is. You know? Just do what you can do. I have to tell myself that constantly uh you know because i will get wrapped up in i don't have the right product i don't have the right tool i you know somebody else is doing this a better different way than me so i just won't do it at all and then i am not any better off than if i had just used what i had on hand this isn't usually this difficult to clean. There's like a little yucky toilet goo situation going on here. TMI, sorry. It's not like poop, it's like rust or something. You know how toilets do? I don't know how to clean it, but I want the toilet to be pretty. Thought we'll have to go into this. Here's how I think. Listen. Hey Matt, how do you get the rusty stuff out of the bottom of the toilet? The what? Oh no, I meant like now. How do you put vinegar in? Wouldn't it just be diluted by the water? It, oh, it's got some kind of weird not I don't know what kind of tub and tile cleaner but it's natural <laughs> I know it says that it dissolves hard water stains should I maybe just leave it for a minute okay okay that's the other part of my brain that's the part that knows about science Okay, well then I can finish the rest of the outside toilet. My apologies if you come here for the sweet tunes and I'm just like talking randomly over them today. I did not know I had this much energy or like enthusiasm or talking left in me. It's been a weird day. <laughs> just realized you're probably looking at the mirror. Can you see the mirror? A little bit. That's okay. Um, the outside of the toilet. Okay, outside of the toilet.
you ever sometimes just find yourself just running around and you're like, what am I doing wrong? I swear, I know how to do this. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna ignore my technique here, right? <laughs> <laughs> with the toilet today. Please, here, stay out of the toilet. Okay, I can do this. If you are struggling just now, you also can do this. We are capable. It doesn't always have to be easy, but we are capable. We can do hard things. <laughs> it seems like those things shouldn't be hard. <laughs> oh, it's just like so much like dog hair and stuff. It's just I will not be beat by dust. <laughs> Maybe. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's the other thing. <sighs> Good enough. <sighs> okay, what do I need next? part probably using way too much of that but I'm excitable okay. I use that phrase that I used a little while ago we can do hard things you can do hard things I can do hard things I use that all the time at home with me with the kids it's a good reminder but the funny thing is I'm like more okay with doing hard things. Like if something's actually a hard thing, I'm like, ooh, this is a struggle. I'm learning a new language. You know, learning how to do this is hard. Then I'm like, okay, plug in, push harder, just keep going. It's understandable that you're struggling. It's hard. But <laughs> when it's something that, um, you know, maybe other people have like a super easy time with, like something Matt just like, understands because there's stuff that he gets and there's stuff that I get and those things aren't the same <laughs> which is great for us as a couple right we can help each other out do what we do best uh, but like today I was trying to learn how to do thumbnails for videos and I was like I literally cried I literally cried in overwhelm because I, I, I was just like I just I have no idea what you're doing I don't I don't get it I don't understand it <laughs> and then like 20 minutes later I was doing it you know so I can do hard things but when it seems like it's easy to someone else but hard to me I really struggle with it I think it's like gifted kid syndrome right like things should just come easy to me um, which I suppose is not a super great way to be, but that's the way I am, and we all have those things, right? Ain't nobody out there perfect.
my hair is everywhere. <laughs> I am literally picking up hair that I'm dropping right now. <laughs> Fun time. How are you doing? I feel like I've been talking a lot about myself. How are you doing? If you're struggling, I feel you. Like no shame in that. There's no shame in the struggle. Take a deep breath. You know? Maybe if your thing has multi parts and you're struggling with that part you can set it down leave it for a minute and do do something else that is still moving forward on that particular section that you're trying to do like if i'm having a hard time with the toilet maybe i should move over work on the sink or something right if that's something you can do do it if it's not that's okay maybe just take a break get up get a drink of water one's perfect. It's okay. okay. <laughs> I got the, got the toilet dirty by moving <laughs> stuff from the sink. <laughs> okay, I'm almost done. If you can see that, I just caught my foot on the trash bag. <laughs> Thankfully, it did not spill everywhere. Okay. Um, floors. Okay, I'm sorry if this part is loud. I think maybe we'll be able to like fix the sound for you so it's not a problem. But if not, then we're going to put up a thing right now on the screen that says noise warning or like loud noise alert loud noise alert if that is on your screen turn down your headphones now five four if it wasn't there then don't worry three two one Do the baseboards real quick. Okay. If 
you are not cleaning your baseboards in your house, don't worry. Don't be like, oh my God, she's cleaning her baseboards. First of all, this is something I usually have the kids do because sometimes they're like, I wanna help. Great, grab a rag, hit those baseboards, kid. <laughs> but this is like a thing that particularly drives me nuts. Only in the bathroom really because I might be sitting here for a moment, kind of staring in that direction. And I'm thinking, oh, it's so dirty. But it just takes a minute to clean, so. You know, I try to do like, what's the least amount of work for the most amount of making me feel better. <laughs> and the baseboards to me are that. But if you're not like that, you don't have a personal pet peeve against baseboards, then maybe that's not something you need to spend your time doing. So don't, don't compare, right? We don't need comparing and contrasting. I probably should have done that before I vacuumed. It's a bit dirty in here now. <laughs> I'm really sorry if this is loud again. I really hope we were able to fix that in post. You know my motto, fix it in post. Cause, cause, cause Matt does post, not me. So, so just, just Matt can fix it. Not really, I try not to make his life harder. I really try not to. I, I do that enough, you know, accidentally that I don't need to work at making his life harder. <laughs> It's just a funny thing I say. But also sometimes you just need to fix it in post because I can't muffle the vacuum. Not that I know of. <laughs> I'm realizing now that Matt, you know, Matt makes ones that have like this super nice calming music and then like others that are the same one but with no music if you didn't know that there's a choice not in every video probably but a lot of them he does that so that if you don't want music on you don't have to listen to that um <laughs> but i'm realizing today maybe some of you are out there wishing there were music ones <laughs> without so much talking <laughs> Do I usually talk this much? I don't know. Honestly, honestly, being here with you right now has so far been the best part of my day. It's been a rough day. And even though I'm cleaning a bathroom, I feel better right now with you talking and like I really feel like my friend is here to talk to, so thank you my friend for being here. I, I mean, I occasionally get these comments, which by the way, make my day that you guys are like, Hey, it's like a friend is there with me. And I get so much done when I watch your videos. Love those comments. Expletive. Love those comments. Um, cause seriously, I'll read them and like, yeah, be like, I, I have worth as a person, right? I know that that probably shouldn't be hanging on YouTube comments, right? That's a slippery slope, but you know what I mean. Sometimes you just need to feel important or like you can be helpful or useful, you know what I mean? Um, so, sometimes I get those comments saying, it's like having a friend there with me. I love that, thank you for the support. But man, I have to tell you, not man, folk, people. I have to tell you, it works both ways. I really do feel your friendship. I feel like you are here working with me. And I appreciate that. It's 
what I was saying. So I really appreciate you being here. I feel like there's friends, so if I was a little too talkative, sorry. <laughs> the fastest I have ever cleaned a bathroom. I, it usually takes me eons, I feel like. I think that looks pretty good. Is it perfect? No. And that's okay. We don't gotta be perfect. But this is a heck of a lot better than it was before. So thank you so much. I hope you got something done too. If you didn't, that's okay. No worries. Start over or if you're in the middle, you know, put on a body doubling playlist. You could just watch these on repeat as you do what you need to get done. I don't talk this much in all of them. <laughs> Hopefully you can find one that's the right speed for you. Uh, if you like the talking, let me know so that I don't apologize so much next time. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thank you. And a huge thank you to our Patreon supporters, Annie, Kelly Bowl, please tell me if I'm saying that wrong, David Craig, So Papa, and Jan Collins. Thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a Patreon subscriber yet, supporter yet, if you're not over there, check out our Patreon page. It's uh, linked in the description box below. It doesn't have to cost very much, and it really helps us out with our camera equipment, things like that, and the many hours that Matt puts into editing and fixing these up, so they're nice and calm and delightful for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you don't have money to give us, kindness doesn't have to cost a lot, please leave a like subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. It helps too. It really does. All right. Have a great day and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.